Greetings, my doe brothers and my doe sisters. Long have we waited for some of these changes. Is it Christmas morning? Nay. It's necessary nerf day. Let's take a look at the nerfs that we got. I think they're gonna make some people happy. Maybe some people a little bummed. I know we got some big time Dan fans out there. You know it's not me. Repair man Dan, no skill man Dan. You know the whole thing. What's going on y'all? Welcome to Jets and Fleet Gaming. I'm Jerry the Tree Wiz. We're living the dream. We're back in World War Doe. I've actually been playing all morning. I've been trouncing fools because I'm low trophies. All right, let's take a look real quick. All right, we have coming up first. I love when I get what I ask for and repairman Dan. Healing reduced to 1,000 from 1,400. That is good. That is a good nerf for the healing he does. Repairman Dan healing will now heal its target 200 health every two seconds. It used to heal every three seconds. So he's going to heal quicker. I like that as well. So he's going to put the healing on the tower faster. Repairman Dan health reduced to 1,400 down from 2,000. So all around a sizable nerf on Repairman Dan. I think that will frustrate some people who use him as like a crux and cycle him all the time, but he causes the game to be slow is one of the reasons I wasn't playing as often. So overall, this is a good nerf in Jerry's book. All right, the next thing that we're going to look at is the killbot damage. This is a really, really easy way they nerfed this. And I think it might work. I, I kind of wish that they would have just changed a little bit of how he worked. Like, I, I always said maybe he didn't need a nerf. He just kind of needed to be uh, less buggy and more predictable. I also think they need to increase his weight so you can't just push him in. But I think that's also kind of cool as well. So maybe what they did here, which they just removed the Slayer damage. So now the only thing that's going to change when you get your Killbot into the third stage is it's going to do area damage, but no longer is going to do Slayer damage. I think that is a huge hit to Killbot because Slayer is massive. He's been a troop eraser. You put troops down, Killbot erases the troops. Now you know what's coming up next. Y'all, we're getting a nerf to my dude, Sheriff Justice. That was one of the first cards we started calling for a buff on this channel. And man, when he got his buff, was it such a buff. His utility has really been found. I'm actually still using him, even though if you look right here, what has happened is his damage has been cut in half. But you know, Sheriff Justice, it's not about his damage. It was oppressive when his damage was too high and he was killing the commanders. But you can still yoink people into grenades, yoink the commander away. He is all about controlling the enemy's commander. And he's still going to do that. So as someone with an almost maxed out Sheriff Justice, I'm still not bummed. Like Repairman Dan, I don't think you need to be bummed either. I think he was he had a little too much utility, and he was a boring card to go up against. Maybe not to use. Maybe it felt nice having him sitting in the pocket, use him when you need it, need it. But yes, it was a boring card to go up against from my perspective. This next thing is uh, not too big of a deal. Barbaric's charge distance reduced to 16 down from 20. That's going to help her out just a little bit. So we're going to maybe start seeing more barbarics and probably more roadkill too, because Killbot's not just going to be that big. Uh, he's not just going to be the big hitter. I'm surprised we didn't see anything to mammoth, but I don't think these are so much balance changes as really they were just some necessary nerfs that we got. And then we're going to get some interesting changes to our poison cards, kind of like a poison rework with Dr. Death and Hurtbot. So let's take a look. What we have with Dr. Death is the poison Poison damage per second is going to be increased to 200, up from 100, but the duration is halved. So he's going to do more damage quicker. I like that. The same amount of damage, but it's going to happen over a faster period of time. So he's doing more damp. You get it. Dr. Death, poison, and radius reduced to four. So he's getting a, a two radius decrease. I think that's cool as well. I like that you're reducing him to three. I think we're going to start seeing Dr. Death. Crazy that he was once five. Makes you realize that he wasn't super useful. So now he's going to get a lot more use. And Hurt Bot is... Uh, its radius is decreased, but its damage is doubled. Man, I really think we're about to see the rise of Hurtbot and kind of a different meta here where you're really going to be able to punish commanders in a bunch of different ways. 
Um, that's a good, that, I guess that's a good change to Hurtbot. I haven't played it yet. Maybe we'll put him in a deck and try it out. I know some people have oppressively leveled Hurtbot, so we'll see how that goes. And the Snowflake Freeze duration is now increased. Um, it will increase incrementally as you level up the Snowflake. And I tried Snowflake out a few times this morning. The problem with Snowflake is that people just take their commander and run over the snowflake. If they're a good player, like I was playing Pazoos, and I think my snowflake would have done well, except the only problem was every single time I played it, he would bring his commander down and just have it go off. Because who wants, for me, even at a low level here, low-ish, let's take a look at my snowflake. Info. Yeah, it's still going to freeze for 31 seconds. That's ridiculous. And antifreeze is going around right now because we're seeing a lot of these heavy decks. Let's take a look at the replay feed, see what's going on. Maybe we'll get a game breaker in. We're exci I'm excited to live stream tomorrow. I'm excited to be back. It's going to be a good thing. All right, so yeah, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at the dough cost of a lot of these cards. Oh, Bobby Sue. I cannot believe we didn't get a Bobby Sue nerf. Where's the Bobby Sue nerf? She's everywhere way too strong no doubt about it so rigel here we're seeing him in a bunch of replays i have seen so many mrs rex tank arena decks miss rex tank arena mix rex tank arena and also sir your bomb is everywhere i don't have any problem with that card right now i also haven't been playing too much so i don't really know the meta but i'm excited to play this this uh this is bringing me Bringing me in. You guys know I'm never leaving World War Do. I took a small absence, make the heart grow fonder. Took a season break because I've just been pushing for the last year. But you can see, what are we seeing a lot of? A lot of Bobby Sue and a lot of Mrs. Rex. Oh, well, mainly because we're seeing a lot of Rigel here. But yeah, we're seeing a ton of Mrs. Rex. This is exciting. I'm excited to see how the meta shifts. Um, this will be good. The meta was a little stale. I think this will change it. Getting rid of that kill bot and repair man Dan. I don't see any bunkers in here. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. Right after I set it, we get a bunker. But at least now you won't have repair man Dan on that bunker annoying you. And yeah, you see Bobby Sue even at level 9. Bobby Sue, level 9. Another Bobby Sue, level 9. Bobby Sue is everywhere. She's just too easy to use. Just a super damaging card that you can't do anything about, that you always have to answer. You know what I love? I do love emergency nerfs. A lot of other games do that. They see one card in specific that's just too strong, and they just dial it back. I think that's a great idea. Um, I don't care if we have set balance changes um, like every month or whatever. Just when something is off, Fix it. This feels good. We got the Killbot nerf we've been asking for for an extremely long time. The Dan nerf that I think we've needed for a very long time. And I think this may help Justice be a little bit less annoying. But let's admit it. You're always going to get a little peeved when you get yoinked across the map and it's used effectively. So, yep. To me, I guess... Want to do a battle? No, we'll do plenty of battles in tomorrow's live stream. I can't thank you guys enough for being here on this channel. You know I love you. We got good stuff coming up in the future, but we've just been hanging, y'all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing and the whole thing. It really helps us keep going as everything gets busy in life again. From the bottom of my heart to the top of my head, I love each and every one of y'all. I'll see you in the future. Peace. <laughs>